Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Jimmy Lee and you watch Grow Our Fishing Channel. Awesome announcement today. Um, got this thing right here in front of me. Bam! Mystery Tackle Box. My very first one. And uh, not only this guy, um, my good friend Andrew, he's also doing Mystery Tackle Box, but he actually got sponsored by Mystery Tackle Box. So that's really, really awesome. Great news. Uh, you can check out his video right here for his announcement and he'll tell you all about uh, his little... Uh, um, partnership with them but for me doing this right now uh, but by the way Andrew thank you for the shirt it's awesome man all right so now I got that uh, off my chest let's take a look here oh, pretty cool got some little thing right there the little uh, designs on the sides this is a deep diving minnow bait got a jig and pig right there got a crawl right here got a frog right here Nothing on the bottom, just my uh, information. So uh, let's get started, right? Alright. The knife here. So, oh wait. Yeah, I knew it. It says happy dance, that's the first thing it says. So, bam! Oh, oh yeah! Looking fly, because it's Valentine's Day. But, alright. Boom! Crap. Alright, so. This guy right here, for the nice card about your box. So I'll just tell them the auto price and how to use these lures. Oh, First one right here. Let's put this on the side. Look at this guy right here. Lucky Craft, the fat CB BDS, the big daddy strike. Oh, awesome. This is a three floating, yes. Three, uh, three feet, is it? Depth? Yep, three right here. Three inch, three feet. Ah, uh, this is pretty cool. So. I'm going to use these guys when it starts uh, warming up, but this is a, it says fall color, so it's really fall crawl, but um, my crayfish color is not really this color, and, but I know some places that may have this color, so definitely going to give it a shot. Uh, these guys can do some reaction strike when it hits the bottom, and pick up some dirt, and kick up some leaves and stuff like that, so can't wait to give this guy a uh, shot. So let's see what it says here, Lucky Craft. The lip design and hook positions on a blah 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 blah. You guys don't need to really read this. It could go through thick covers. Awesome. So I won't be snagging it up with uh, with this. I hope the hooks are definitely big. So I thought it would snag up on some stuff, but it says uh, it shouldn't really uh, uh, snag much. It's designed to come through the thickest cover, and it's fourteen ninety nine. Damn, this guy right here is expensive. So it's like one box already. So uh, maybe I should just put the rest away and be like, nah, just kidding. Alright, so next thing right here is called Boo Teaser Rig. Boo Teaser Rig from Booyah. Alright, take a look at this. Looks like an umbrella, umbrella rig, but what's unique about this? Um, okay, I see what it is. So, give you guys a closer look. But I'm gonna give you the back look as well, because as you see, this is like an umbrella rig where, uh, not the you know, traditional one where there's uh, many jigged heads and a lot of hooks. There's actually little twist locks. I'll make sure I point in the right spot. Twist locks, where you can actually put these grub tails right in there. So the key is it's gonna try to imitate a bunch of schoolfish and being chased by another lord that you would put in a back. So um, yeah, so it says you can use this with crankbaits, jigs, or spinnerbaits. This thing is weigh weighing at three eighth ounce. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll see what I can do with this. Looking at this list of stuff right here, I'm not sure if I could use anything here besides the uh, Lucky Craft. I don't know. I don't even know how that will work. Um, but definitely excited to give this a shot. If not, I'll just do the traditional. What I usually do with umbrella rigs, which is a, a lead jig head and a, either a grub tail or like a shad type uh, swim bait. It looks like a definitely want to put a bigger one in the back because what you want to do is it looks like a um, a big fish chasing a bunch of small bait and the key is to make that reaction strike from other fish because you know if you see a fish uh, chasing other fish in your territory you're gonna definitely want to hit that fish I, I, and I think that's what this is trying to do um, it, it, it kicks up a, a territorial instinct uh, for a fish because they'll be like hey you can't be chasing my fish in my territory smash so all right Second time, I right, put that on my kayak. Dibble. Oh, this guy right here, $6.99. Pretty cool. 
pretty cool. All right, the next one right here, uh, it's not in the right order, but I will jump to this guy right here. Yo Mama Big Bite Baits. It doesn't say Yo Mama in here, does it? <laughs> All right, I know what these are. I'm open these guys up, but it's a pack of five, two dollars each. It's basically a crawl and green pumpkin. I love the color already. It's perfect because I like using green pumpkin. But as you see, two paddle arms right here, and oh, they do have something. So it looks like there's a little weed guard right here, kind of when you do your Texas rigging. Or uh, I don't use this uh, all the time for Texas rigging. Sometimes I use it on uh, jig and pig because it, it does have a nice uh, action to it. But yeah, I do do uh, jig. Um, I'm sorry, Texas rigging with this, and I like to put like a small hook on it because this is definitely a small lure, and put very lightweight. I usually peg it. Uh, if not, I will Carolina rig it because I want it small, uh, fall slow so these arms can flutter, and it does trigger a lot of good fish. Uh, I love pond fishing, and I like using these in ponds. Uh, really, really awesome. So, put this guy's back right in here. Smell like plastic. All right, the next one is Smalling Tube. All right, so VNM Ultimate Bass and Bait, super scented pork fat cooked. Ah. No, 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 no more talking. Got to do a whiff first. Smells like plastic. Doesn't smell like pork. What a letdown. <laughs> Just kidding. But one, two, three, four of these guys. Really, really big tubes. It has salt on it, but I'll bring it out, I guess. Whatever. I'll just clean up the, the table a little later. Let's see these guys? Really nice. Really nice. I like the color. I love green pumpkin. Uh, and it has purple flakes on it and a lot of salt. Throw that in here. But uh, yeah, uh, I got a lot of smallmouth up north where I am. I go to Spruce Run Reservoir a lot. Definitely want to fish these guys with um, like a jig, a jig head designed for two baits. So it flutters down really nice. Uh, you can you can swim it through the water column or let let it kind of flutter down, jerk it, flutter down. Uh, says right here to you can hop it on the across the bottom as well I never really hop these guys across the bottom before I usually use it kind of like swim swim and flutter but uh, I'll definitely give this uh, these guys a shot four to a pack at two dollars and forty cents all right so it looks like I'm at the very last one all right so it's mustad big mouth five quantity of five odd hooks I love the color already the color is really really nice Blood red, so it imitates like a injured fish when you use these hooks. Um, I usually use gamagatsu. I'm looking at the bends right now. Very important to me when I use uh, any sort of Texas rig type hooks is really the top part right here. Uh, some of the cheaper ones, when the bends are not designed well, it will slide each time a fish hit it or you drag it through something. I think this is. It looks okay. I like Amagatsu kind of because I have that like nice groove and the lure kind of stay there. But this one I think I could deal with. Uh, so yeah, this this is five two pack, four dollars and thirty nine cents. So definitely, definitely a good value pack here with everything we got here. Um, let's see what Dibble is talking about this time. Flipping versus pitching. How to properly walk the dog. So. Uh, some techniques that I love doing, so I'll definitely gonna read up on it to see if I could uh, improve my techniques. But yeah, I can't wait to use these. I think the highest anticipated lure that I want to use is really this guy here. Come second, these guys. Not because they're priced, but it just kind of happened to be that way. Um, well, now I'm looking at these plastic baits here. You know, I usually fish these guys with a jig head, like I was mentioned earlier, but if I were to use these hooks right here, I think it could just barely make it. You know, sometimes I do put a uh, lightweight Texas rig, peg it, kind of use it as skipping, because these are good skipping lures. I skip it under docks and kind of let it flutter downwards, uh, but I prefer using jig head to skip, uh, skip uh, these guys underneath docks. But uh, what I was going to say is, these hooks are kind of big. And the, the only other Texas rig lure I have are these two here in this package. And this guy's, this guy's too big. Well, I guess it's going to be a troublesome trying to use this guy in an MTP slam. But I guess I'm a, that's my own comment. So I guess I, I'll give a MTP a quick review here. You know, it would probably be better if you guys gave a smaller size hook of these. 
so that we can actually use it you know with the lures all together but now if I really want to you know complete slam I just gotta use this hook with another lure I don't know if you consider that cheating or not but as long as I use this hook right it should be okay you guys let me know in the comments below but uh, I'm gonna go scratch my card right here I don't really have a coin well let's do this Ooh, got a grub tail, got a bobber. Ooh, got another grub tail. Maybe one more. Oh, got another bobber. Oh, snaps. This is gonna be. I'm probably gonna win this. Nope, got a crawfish. One last one. Ah, uh, I got KVD. The, not that Kevin Van Dam, but yeah. Unfortunately, I didn't win, but uh, oh well, give it a shot. But definitely, I'm gonna read this guy up right here, take the stickers, slap it right onto my kayak. Uh, thank you for watching, guys. I'm definitely gonna do a lot more unboxing. I'm gonna plan my uh, MTB slam sometime soon once the ice thaws out. Uh, definitely can't do it right now because most of the spots around here is frozen. But uh, happy Valentine's Day, guys. Thank you for watching, and until next time, peace out.